Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box quick start tutorial on using the Band in a Box DAW plugin within Reaper. In this video, we will go over creating a new project, adding a new track, refreshing your plugin lists, loading the Band in a Box plugin to a track, and then dropping some tracks from the plugin into your Reaper timeline. So let's get started by opening a new project. Just go to the File menu and select New Project. The next step would be creating a new track, which can be done by holding the command button and pressing T. Now that we have a new project with a new track, let's refresh our plugins list. There are two different methods for refreshing our VST and AU plugins, so we'll go over both. To refresh your VST plugins, go to Options, Preferences, and browse to VST in the list that is on the left side of the Preferences dialog. Now click on the Rescan button. And that's it! You can now exit the dialog by clicking OK. Back in the Tracks window, click on the FX button on the track you created earlier. A window will appear with the title Add FX to Track 1. Right click or control click on AUI and select Scan for New Plugins. Now that we have scanned for both VSTi3 and AUI plugins, we can now load our Band in a Box plugin by clicking on the corresponding plugin type, selecting Band in a Box DAW AU slash VST3 plugin, and clicking on OK. Now that we have our Band in a Box plugin loaded, let's open up the Style Picker and pick a style. But before we select a style, we will rebuild the style list. This will just take a moment. Okay, so now that that's finished, I think I want to make a short blues song. So I'll narrow down the list by typing blues in the filter string. And you can demo styles by just double clicking on them in the list. So I'll demo some styles till I find one I like. I really like this Texas Rock Shuffle with the guitar solo by Saul Philcox. So I'll use that one and press OK. As you can see here, our style includes reel tracks that were recorded at a tempo of 130 beats per minute. Our song doesn't have to be exactly 130 beats per minute, so I could leave it at 120, but I think I would like it a little faster, so I'll go with 135. And I'll change it to 135 within the plugin as well and we'll write the song in the key of E. And then I'll enter some blues chords. E, A, E, A, E, B, A, E. I think that's good. So we will shorten the song down to just 12 bars. And then just click the generate button to generate our tracks. This will just take a few seconds. And now it's done generating in just 16 seconds. We can demo our song right in the plugin by pressing play here. That sounds pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and drag our tracks into our DAW. We can do this with these green and blue squares right here. The green squares on each track will allow you to drag that individual track over, but we want to drag all our tracks, so we will use the blue square. Just press and hold, 
and then drag over to the Reaper timeline. Select separate tracks, and now we can just press play to take a listen. Thanks for watching our Band in a Box quick start tutorial on using the Band in a Box DAW plugin within Reaper. For a more in depth tutorial using the Band in a Box plugin within Reaper, visit our plugin support page at www.pgmusic.com/support.bbplugin.htm. Have fun! Mm -hmm.